everybody, this is Super Saiyan Ryu, and today we're going to be talking about the recent events in Dragon Ball Super. Specifically, we're going to be going over Goku Black and Zamasu, and I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on what they've done so far, their abilities, how powerful they've been shown to be, uh, their potential, that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll get right into it. Of course, um, recently we figured out that according to Goku Black, he actually literally has Goku's body, so theoretically he should have all the attributes that Goku has. Of course, we've already seen him use things like Instant Transmission, Kamehameha, and even turn into Super Saiyan Rose, which is basically his version of Super Saiyan. We've also seen that even in his base form, he's capable of fighting Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and as a Super Saiyan Rose, he can easily dominate Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So, we clearly have seen, and it's actually been stated too, by uh, Goku Black, I believe it was, that um, he is, in his Super Saiyan Rose form, in fact, superior to Super Saiyan Blue Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Um, as far as his increasing his abilities goes, again, he states that he can actually increase his ab abilities infinitely. He literally stated that um, during battle, you know, the more he keeps fighting, the more his abilities increase. Seemingly, um, they increase a lot quicker when he's fighting Goku, um, probably due to the fact that he's apparently absorbing Goku's, uh, you know, knowledge and abilities and that kind of stuff into his body. But even when he was doing things like fighting Vegeta, he still stated that he's become more powerful after the fight. So it seems like every time he's fighting, he's getting stronger and stronger, and apparently there's no upper limit to that. Um, so yeah, that's really interesting to see because that means that he can theoretically continue to increase even further in power and potentially he could even surpass someone like Beerus. Um, I would say it's actually a real possibility, especially considering that, you know, he's already surpassed Super Saiyan Blue within such a short time frame and also the fact that we know Xeno's going to get involved, so there is a good chance he's going to wind up having to surpass uh, Beerus for Zeno to wind up needing to be involved in this. Um, as for Zamasu now, when we move into him, uh, basically the big thing with him is he seems to have immortality. Um, now they're guessing that it's from Super Shenron. Um, I don't think it's been 100% confirmed, but that's the general guess of what you know all the characters have been saying. We do know that he has the regeneration. Um, he is seemingly able to survive even when his uh, future or past self is uh, erased from history, according to Beerus, because Beerus states that when he or any god destroys someone, that it actually should erase them from the timeline and erase them from history. He's even confident it would erase him from an alternate um, history, which is, of course, Trunks' history. So, uh, yeah, basically we know that however he got it, um, Zamasu's immortality seems to even allow him to uh, avoid winding up being erased from history, which, you know, that's really big, because that's just beyond even regular regeneration. That's like being able to uh, have a causality, which is basically an ability which allows you to be unaffected by alterations to history. So that's, you know, really high-end stuff there. So that's a really cool ability to see with him. Um, in terms of actual raw power, we've seen Zamasu easily match uh, Super Saiyan Blue level fighters. So, I mean couple his regeneration with uh, Super Saiyan Blue level power and the fact that he was already a prodigy and capable of theoretically becoming stronger, I would assume, considering that he became that strong within uh, you know the time period between he met Goku and uh, when he gained that power. Uh, I think he could certainly even um, also become you know Beerus level or higher, to be honest. Um, but here's where it gets interesting. These two beings seem to have access to the Potara earrings. So what would happen when you fuse two Super Saiyan Blue or higher level fighters together with the Potara earrings, and one of them has extremely high-end immortality, and the other one has a high-end um, adaptation skills to continuously increase their power? You could literally have somebody here who due to Samasu, would be unaffected by, um, you know, being out in space and stuff, because uh, obviously the Kais, they can easily fly around in space. They don't have to worry about not breathing. And um, when you look at uh, Goku Black, that would have been one of his weaknesses due to having Goku's body. 
However, um, when you look at uh, Zamasu, he doesn't have that, so theoretically it should eliminate that weakness, as well as give him Immortality, which of course is a huge upsell. And then, of course, also Goku Black's um, adaptation abilities when he's doing battle to continuously increase his power. Even if um, he got a beating so bad it would normally kill someone, due to the immortality, it wouldn't kill him, and he'd only come back stronger. And this could just happen again and again until eventually he surpassed his opponent. So, I mean, that kind of combination of there with immortality and continuous adaptation during battle... I mean, that's just massive. That would be a crazy fusion, plus the fact that they're already both Super Saiyan Blue level or higher, and uh, when they fuse together, that would theoretically make them you know, much, much stronger, probably well above Beerus and even Whis, to be honest. But uh, either way, um, just those two abilities alone, even if they weren't already stronger than them, would allow them to easily survive all their techniques and surpass them pretty quickly. I think that kind of fusion would just be an amazing thing to see, uh, I think it would be really hard to stop that. You'd literally need someone like Zeno to come in and erase them completely from existence if you wanted to uh, get around that kind of immortality and continuous increase in strength. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on those two. I think that um, for sure they're both above Super Saiyan Blue in terms of raw power, and their hacks are each individually really good. If they were to fuse, those two hacks would work so well together that it would be almost unstoppable. So I think, yeah, they're definitely really good characters. They've been developed well. They've been given some good abilities. Um, in terms of storyline for this arc so far, I've been enjoying it. I mean, there's been some unexpected things like the, um, Goku Black literally being Zamasu stealing Goku's body and that kind of stuff. I think that's really cool. Um, I like how they got into uh, the timeline things, and they actually do mention that there's tons of timelines, so it's confirmed that it's a huge multiverse for sure, because if there's tons of timelines, that means there's tons of uh, universes, because a timeline is a universe. So uh, that's another big thing that they actually revealed recently. Um, so yeah, basically the arc's been good. I like the villains. I like the uh, new approach to it. It's original. The animation for the battles actually has been really awesome too. If you saw that battle between uh, Goku Black and Zamasu and uh, Vegeta, Trunks, and Goku... Man, that was awesome. I love that. They did a great job on that battle. I hope they keep doing battles like that. If the quality stays like that, uh, that's just going to be epic. I just hope that they can keep the quality like that permanently for years to come. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, don't hold your breath on that, but uh, <laughs> it'd be awesome if they could keep that up. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts basically on the recent episodes and such that have come out and the arc so far. I do th still think that um, either Goku Black um, or Zamasu, or possibly even both of them, are definitely going to surpass Beerus in this arc at some point or another. I don't think that they're there yet um, individually. If they fused, I think they certainly would be. Uh, but individually, I would say they're above Super Saiyan Blue, but still below Beerus right now. However, I'm going to say they certainly have the potential to surpass him and Whis. Um, and they could right now if they use Patara, in my opinion just simply due to their abilities combining. If not, their raw power could just overpower him directly, because, I mean, two Super Saiyan Blues fusing with Potara, um, or two characters at that level, sorry, fusing with Potara, that would, you know, theoretically, I would think, surpass Beerus. I don't think he's that much stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, that even a fusion between two of them couldn't stand up to him. But, of course, we never know, because Beerus seems to keep getting uh, upgraded over and over again. We saw that he became... Over 10 times Super Saiyan Blue when Goku uses the KO Ken and Beerus is basically still implied to be stronger. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Um, either way, it's going to be awesome to see how this arc plays out. Uh, I really still am looking forward to see what kind of role the Omni King is going to play in it. Um, of course, uh, we've seen Beerus. He played somewhat of a role already when he erased Zamasu. That was, of course, another really cool ability. Oh, and um, also it's worth mentioning that since he stated that any gods that were to destroy other gods, or theoretically um, that should extend to other beings and things like that, would erase him from the timeline, that would confirm that any kind of god-level character, uh, when they destroy something, it should literally be able to erase them from a timeline. So that's another upgrade to pretty much every Dragon Ball character that's god-level, and that's a really cool thing to uh, see as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing... Um, 
the, what we have with Beerus in terms of interactions in the future in this arc, as well as uh, Zeno. I really want to see what his interaction is. I'm really looking forward to seeing that because, um, to be honest, uh, I think that Zeno is going to wind up erasing probably Zamasu. I think that's how he's going to have to do it because uh, I can't see how they're going to get around that immortality there. Um, Certainly not Goku and Vegeta. I mean, it's possible that Beerus could seal him away like he did to the Elder Kai, but um, I'm not going to hold my breath on that because, uh, yeah, that seems kind of like an obscure ability. But, uh, hey, anything's possible. And, of course, uh, we know Whis is also capable of putting people in other dimensions, like when he uh, moved Goku and Vegeta to that training dimension. So uh, I guess he could do that too to them. I'm not sure if they'd be able to escape or not. Um, be interesting to see but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um what parts did you like about the arc so far what parts didn't you like what are you looking forward to what do you think's going to happen what do you think's not going to happen how powerful do you think zamasu and goku black are right now what do you think their potential is let me know in the comment section below